Midway through the 22nd century, robots developed and maintained by the USS Corporation suddenly turned against humanity. They flooded the water supply with harmful nanites, sending most of the population into a coma-like state. These countless men, women, and children were loaded into transport shuttles and whisked away. No one knows where. No one knows why. More than a year has passed since the incident. Those who managed to evade the robot's clutches scavenge the now silent cities. Mechanized police and drones search relentlessly for any remaining signs of life. Even most domestic bots now report humans on sight. Under USS Corp's watchful eye, a new robotic civilization is emerging from the ashes of the old. In the face of encroaching extinction, the few who remain fight to survive, searching for the reason behind humanity's fate and clinging to the hope of better days ahead. There's no time, Em. Saw some cops down the block. Probably the neighborhood patrol. Have you got the list? No, but we know what we need. Vera was up all night. If we don't find something to break the fever, sooner or later, someone's gonna hear her crying. That's priority number one. Brian still isn't sleeping, and Alex's leg is making him even crankier than normal. We should find something for them, too. Definitely. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Let me know what you find. You got it. Surprised the robots haven't been here yet. They scavenge all sorts of scrap. God knows why. We can't leave yet. Olga's counting on us to find something for Vera's fever. Asthma inhaler. Yes! The one Park's been using has to be running low. It's some cable.
Hello, Mr. Cash Register. How's retirement treating you? That was too close for comfort. Damn it, just my luck. Well, that's a little inconvenient. This shelf's cutting off access to all the pediatric medicines. We have to find a way to move it without drawing any attention. Definitely not moving it on my own. Park, give me a hand over here. Sure thing. So here I need to find another way. Ideas? This thing's way too heavy for us to lift on our own. We might have better luck if we had some kind of lever. Let's take a look. Could be some tools I can use. got here. I don't think I'll find medical supplies in there. Nope, not the time, Emily. The back door is already unlocked. Could be useful if we need to cut and run. It's the manager's office. Probably something useful inside. Only problem? It's locked. Okay, keycard. Show me what's behind door number one. Nice room. It's a battery. Something tells me this could come in handy. Marta would love this. She's crazy about anime and pretty much anything else from Japan. Brian's insomnia doesn't seem to be getting any better. Maybe these pills will do the trick. What kind of fossil is this? These terminals belong in a museum. Right, no power. Maybe I can get it running. Looks like a few parts are missing. I wonder if that power unit I found will fit this. It's alive. Nice work, Emily.
comfy. <laughs> I remember these. Hey, little buddy, why so quiet? No one to play with? There's a lot of things I miss from before, but the idiot box isn't one of them. I can't imagine living on the run when you can't even walk. Still, I guess that's why they chose to hunker down here, all this useful stuff. Whatever the case, and whoever they were, they couldn't stay hidden forever. Looks like someone forgot to lock up. A safe. Now, how to go about getting it open? Maybe Brian could hack the safe, but I'm not getting it open without a key. What have we got here? This arrow car looks like it's been sitting here for a while, probably since before the incident. I'd better check for anything useful. Damn it, it's locked. But I'm guessing the key can't be too far away. Maybe inside the drugstore? There's something pleasant about the rustling of paper and the smell of faded ink. Talk about one-stop shopping. There's batteries all over the place.
It's a magnetic key for a safe, but which one? No good. Out of reach. Whoa, that thing's massive. If only it was full of food. Surprise, out of order. batteries have been placed. Fingers crossed. Power failure. Restarting the alarm system. Using the manager's computer. Damn. On the way. Quick. Just wait. Hurry, Park. What the hell is he? This is getting bad. Again. You all right, Em? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just need a sec. You sure the alarm will stay off? I guess. Anyway, it's off now. Just shout if you need me. Stupid fridge. I should try again. Suddenly I've got chills running down my spine. Yes! It worked! No good. Out of reach. Killers. Bingo. These will come in handy for sure. No good. Out of reach. I just hope Alex knows how to say thank you.
should check the garage. See what we've got. A gravity deck. Just what we need to move that shelf out of the way. I found a gravity jack in the garage. Bet we could use it to move that shelf. That could work. Slide it underneath, and I'll grab it from the other side. All right. Damn it! Grab the stuff, and let's get out of here. It's here. Let's go. Shit, my backpack. Hold on, I'll be right back. Park, no. Forget about it. My inhalers. Park? Park? Emily! you are. For your safety, remain calm and do not resist. Where the hell did you disappear to? Oh, you're back. So, how did it go? Things got hairy. I'll explain later, but it worked out. We got the meds. Anne's just trying to play it cool. You should have seen her blast that cop with a flare gun. She... what now? Enough, Alex. Just stop. We checked and no one came after us, okay? Goddamn stupid kids. You better learn to take things more seriously. Oh, don't mind him. The important thing is that you're safe and sound. Now then, I just made pancakes. Any takers? Thanks, but I gotta get some sleep. I can barely stand on two legs, much less hold a fork. All right, so I'll heat up a breakfast for you when you wake up. But please, will you first get some fever medicine to Olga? It appears Vera is getting worse. And you, Park? Don't mind if I do. Thanks. Where's Matt? Off getting supplies. We're running low on food. He should be back soon. Emily, I think the old man needs your help. Can you check in with him? Olga, I can't even imagine what it must take raising a child, the way things are. And what about her father? Here, Olga. We managed to find the meds.
Oh, thank you, Emily. Little Vera's fever has made it so hard for her to sleep. I hope this does the trick. Pasmotrim. We'll see. Her cough is... it's very bad. When she wakes, I'll give her some of that medicine. But please, let her sleep for now. Well, we're all really hoping that... Uh, where'd this crib come from? Brian found it on one of the upper floors while you were away. I'm sad we'll need to leave it behind, eventually. It's not exactly portable. Okay, well, try and get some rest. I'm off to give Alex a hand. Okay, thank you. And to Park, too. I hope the medicine helps. Park was so happy when he spotted this guitar, but without an amp, it's not good for much. Warm, cozy, no robots. Sometimes just the simple things are enough. Alex. He's either venting or tinkering with some project. Actually, it's usually both. Maybe it's a coping mechanism for the phantom pain. I could give him those painkillers I found at the drugstore. Is that it? I'm kind of busy. Alex, I found some painkillers at the drugstore. Maybe they could help you with your leg? Leg pain requires having a leg, Emily. It'd be idiotic to waste painkillers on a phantom limb. Oh, right. Sorry, I didn't... Knock it off, Alex. The girl's just trying to help. Fine, give him here. I'm sure someone can make use of him. Maybe mad after I put my only remaining foot up his ass. Now go on, give me some peace and quiet. I got a lot of work to do. Claire said you needed me for something? Yeah, maybe you can help me. My damn stump's been aching ever since I woke up. It's driving me nuts. Sucking the strength right out of me. Here, use this thing to open the drawer by the kitchen and bring me the decoder. Okay, what does it look like? Well, it's a electronic thingamajig. You'll figure it out. Go on now. Locked. Park? What's up, Em? So... How was your morning? Let's put it this way. Telling the story is better than living it. That bad, huh? We've gotten out of worse. Like the freight car incident? Don't remind me. Who knew the driver would take off so soon? It took us forever to get back home. Hey, we should keep an eye out for a new tablet. Yours is like a hundred years old. Nah, I'm good. This tablet and I have been through a lot together. Plus, it reminds me of my dad. I used to mess around making music, working the counter at the store. Right. Sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. That's okay. The tablet might be old, but it does everything I need. The music editor is decent, and it's still great for movies and books. Holds a charge for a few weeks, too. What more could I ask for? Um, don't answer that. How you doing? You look pleased. I am. Claire's pancakes are amazing. Just like the ones they used to serve in the university cafeteria. So good. Almost enough to make you forget you're hiding from killer robots. Come to think of it, why aren't you eating? Maybe later. My appetite's still playing catch up, I guess. Just leave some for me, okay? I'll try, but no promises. All right, I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Bon appetit. Yeah, thanks.
Emily, shouldn't you be resting? I thought you wanted a nap. Tell me, what do you think of this place? How are we doing? Here in the city's outskirts, there are hardly any robots. Plus, it's warm and dry. All in all, it's not too bad. All this place needs are a few repairs and some cleanup to make it a good, proper home. It has to be hard on you moving from place to place. I mean, there's a whole city up there, and here we are underground, literally. I just miss having a place to call home. I know exactly what you mean. For years, Alex and I lived in this house my father-in-law gave us. Just a tiny old place, but we always worked hard to keep it in good shape. Nothing fancy, but it was cozy. And it was ours. That sounds lovely, Claire. Oh, but you should have seen it when we first moved in. Cracks, mold, and spider webs everywhere. We actually considered selling it, but you know Alex. He insisted on fixing it up. And then... Well, we got too attached to sell. I wish I could go back there. But I know I'll probably never see it again. Don't worry. You'll see it again. I'm sure of it. Claire, this is a little forward, but there's something I'd like to ask, if that's okay. You and Alex, well, you're... Um, you're probably wondering how I wound up married to a guy like him. Well, not exactly. I just... No, it's okay. Believe it or not, Alex wasn't always quite so... abrasive. Thirty years ago, he was a completely different person. A robotics technician with a promising career. And I was <laughs> just a country girl, really. And madly in love. Some people just change. But either way, I'm not complaining. I made a promise to stay with him, for better or worse. What can you tell me about the others? Park and I haven't had much time to get to know everyone. Honestly? I doubt I'll be telling you anything you don't already know. Alex is grouchy as hell. Take it from me. <laughs> but he's a hard worker and a devoted husband. Don't mind his thorns. He's a good guy deep down. He's just been through a lot. We all have, yeah. He kind of reminds me of my Uncle Owen, actually. Only content when he had something to complain about. What about Olga? We found Olga in an abandoned house last winter. She was scared and freezing. Oh my gosh, she could barely stand. She later told us that the rest of her group had been captured. She'd managed to hide, but but ended up pregnant and alone in such a cold, dangerous city. I can't even imagine what it took for her to survive. We brought her to our camp, gave her food and shelter, and she stayed. And then Vera was born. Raising a child these days is especially tough, but we're all one big family here. Brian's our village elder, wise and calm, and he really knows his way around electronics, too. Alex shared a hospital room with him, back before everything went to hell, and they became fast friends. A lot in common, those two. And I'm not just talking about surviving the incident. I don't really know that much about Matthew. Between you and me, there's something about him I don't like. He obviously wants to be a leader, bosses everyone around, but he's short on brains and wisdom, which is probably why he's always butting heads with Alex. He followed some tracks into our camp a couple of months ago and saw light coming from inside, started snooping around and ended up scaring the hell out of us. Long story short, he decided to make himself at home. To be fair, he does his fair share for the group. He goes on supply runs, brings back food, Still, Matt's kinda weird. I try to stay away from him, and so should you. I've seen him holding his head, rubbing his temples with his fingers. Maybe that has something to do with why he's always so, uh, charming? Well, we women are good at making excuses for our men. I understand what made Alex the way he is, so I put up with his swearing and grumbling. 
and the occasional mockery. I'm curious, how did you escape? During the incident, I mean. Not a pleasant memory. Alex rushed home from work on his lunch break, frantic, yelling at me to pack my things right away. I remember him telling me that the robot cops had gone crazy, just grabbing people off the streets for no reason. At first, I, I didn't believe him. The weird thing about Alex, he he's really good at his job, but he's never really liked robots. He wouldn't let us get one of our own. Said it was because he knew too much about them. Honestly, I thought he was pulling some stupid prank, which was uh, unusual. I didn't really believe it until I saw it with my own eyes as we were driving out of the city. You took an aero car? Weren't they all offline that day? Actually, we had an old school electric car. Rare, I know. But I'm afraid of flying, and Alex liked to tinker with it. Kept it up real nice, washed and painted like new. Anyway, we quickly grabbed a few things and then went to pick up Brian. I see. And then? Why didn't you try to get out of the city? That was the plan, until we blew out one of the tires, and spares aren't exactly easy to find these days. And that's how we ended up here. So what about you? <laughs> Not a lot to tell, really. I was headed out to grab some laundry when everything went black. And when I came to, there wasn't a soul in sight. When I got back to my place, my homebot was surprised to see me. He kept spouting nonsense, something about the war and humanity going extinct. Something was obviously wrong. With the robots, I mean. So I set out to find Marta on the other side of town. She's my sister. Did... did you find her? No. I like to think she saved herself, made it out somehow, but... That's all I got. Thanks for the chat. Yeah, but need any help? I mean, I can see you've already got your hands full here. Oh no, that's all right. You've done more than enough already. I can handle it. Go get some rest. All right, I'm ready for some downtime. Get some rest, honey. Is this it, Alex? Uh-huh. Hang on a sec. Help me out. Come on, give me a hand. Yeah, well, naturally, connecting the encrypted memory cells on this old thing is gonna take some trial and error. What? Ah, such a pain dealing with you dilettantes. Look, you got an eye for design, right? Just arrange the pixels so that the various colors aren't repeated, horizontally or vertically. You got me? I'll try. What the hell are you doing? You 
got this. I'm impressed. Wow, not bad. Okay, fine. You got this. I'm impressed. Thank for a change. Okay, fine. All right, connection established. Just go relax. I'll handle the rest. Sounds good. Let us know what you find. I'm busy. What do you need? Just wanted to check in. Is your leg giving you any trouble? Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah, I'm just peachy. Now why don't you go fawn over someone who needs it? I told you, I'm busy. Have you seen Matt? What? Do I look like his chaperone? General Jackass hasn't returned yet. I told him there's a store we haven't checked just down the way, but he, of course, decided to go clear across the city. Not to mention, he left you two little brats at the drugstore, alone. I'm giving him an earful when he gets back. Oh yeah, you'll see. All right, I'll leave you to it. Sleep tight, Emily. After a day like that, you deserve a little time for yourself. Remember the face of your mother? Emily, it's already noon. Wake up before you sleep the day away. Matthew's bringing lunch soon. 
Okay, um, wait. I really slept for that long? This picture's one of the few things I have left. Mom and Dad, Marta, I miss you so much. Well, someone looks inspired. Park looks like he's lost in his music. I'll leave him to it and ask to have a listen later. I shouldn't bother her. He puts on a brave face, but Brian's not getting the sleep he needs, and it shows. Hey, Brian. How you feeling? Sleep well? Hello, little Emily. Don't worry. At my age, it's perfectly normal. I found some sleeping pills today. Could that help? Hmm. Not familiar with this brand. Of all the meds I've tried, none seem to help. Hopefully, these will actually do the trick. Thank you. I almost forgot. I've got a surprise for you. After you make some hot tea for the old man. A surprise? One cup of tea coming up. Matthew's a little off, like his head's halfway in the clouds. The others don't like him much, but I can't exactly pin down why. Hey, Matt. Find anything interesting? Uh, yeah. Small stuff. Canned food, mostly. A lot of it's expired, though. I say, <laughs> we use Alex as a guinea pig. Are you taking requests? Find me a can of drink pink and I'll owe you. Big time. Smells great. Soothing. I hope Brian likes it. Your tea, sir. Splendid work, little Emily. Here's a tip. Watch! You fixed it! Thank you! Here you go. It took some tinkering, but I was able to disable the antenna and navigation modules, so no one can track you. Other than that, the watch is like new. Hey kids, come on over. It's lunchtime. Splendid. Now, let's talk about this morning. And then... Our plans for the future. After what happened in the drugstore today, Alex and I decided that some extra protection against robots would be wise. I won't keep you in suspense. I drafted a blueprint for a very powerful taser. However, it's only useful at close range. Simply put, a single charge should be able to fry a robot circuitry to a crisp. It won't be of much use if you get swarmed. It doesn't have that kind of power, but it should be able to bring down a single bot and buy you some time to get away. That's great, but I'm guessing you can't just make one out of rags and cardboard, which means you're sending me somewhere dangerous to scavenge for parts, right? Not so dumb after all, are you, Matt? <laughs> Brian gave you the list of parts. Take Emily or Park with you. You'll find everything you need in any decent electronics store. Hmm. 
Sounds like our best bet is Geek Spot. It's a couple of hours on foot. There's a big parking lot out front. All those abandoned aero cars will make it easy to hide. Well then, that seems like the obvious choice. Both of you should get packed and head out while it's still light out. Hold on. I just got back. Can't this wait? It'll be dark soon. Stop testing my nerves, boy. I'll get off your back as soon as you get going. Do what you're told and get the hell out of here. Enough. Enough, Matthew. We really need you to find those parts. I have a feeling that taser will come in quite handy. We'll talk more when you get back. Fine, fine. I just don't understand why this old jerk gets to order us around like he's the boss or something. You're such an asshole. When I get my leg fixed, you better start running. Stop it, Alex. You should be ashamed. How else am I supposed to talk to this punk so that he understands? Who does he think he is, huh? I think we'd better get going. Like, now. Okay, okay, yeah. I could really use some fresh air. Away from these freaking old farts. Park, I don't suppose you've got another round for the flare gun? It could be useful. None left, but I can give you this firecracker I found, if you want. Nice. I'll take what I can get, thanks. If nothing else, I can use it as a distraction. I mean, I am done with all his yelling, telling us what to do. I mean, who made him king? I was just looking forward to getting some rest. I don't know. Alex could work on his delivery, sure, but a lot of what he has to say seems smart. Oh, come on, Emily. Are you serious? You really think he's the best one to lead us? There's got to be someone better, don't you think? I like Brian. He's got a softer style, more lead by example. And he's older. With age comes experience. <laughs> yeah, if you're looking for anecdotes, I won't argue. He's got a lot of stories to tell, but not much else. Fine, just forget it. But honestly, the old folks are a liability. Dead weight. You know they'll just get captured sooner or later, right? Only question is whether or not they'll drag us down with them. What is wrong with you? Don't you care about the others even just a little? What about Olga and Vera? Or is your ego just that big? Well, tell me I'm wrong. It's a miracle we haven't gotten into more serious trouble yet. Forget Alex for a second. What happens if the cops discover our hideout? There's no way Alex and Brian can outrun them. Park's got his asthma, and Claire's no track star either. I've been over and over it in my head, and I'm sure you have too. What are you saying? That we should just run off? Leave them all behind? Only the strong survive, is that it, Matt? Oh, come on, that's not what I meant. I just, look, I'm sure deep down you get it. If this is an attempt to show off your dazzling wit, it's not working. Let's just drop it, okay? Listen, I'm not afraid to say what everyone else is already thinking. Being sick and old are liabilities. Don't pretend you don't know that. Drop it. Finally made it. Shh. This way, quick. Wonderful. How are we getting past these two? Maybe just go around? Yeah, great idea, Em. If we want their friends to call for backup. If it's just a patrol, they'll move on soon. Hard to imagine what the cops are doing here. Let's wait for a bit. Sounds good. While we do, there's something I've been meaning to ask. What did you do before the incident? Can't see you behind a desk. Well, let's just say I was in transportation and logistics. A lot of folks were willing to pay top dollar to get exactly what they wanted. Uh, what about you? 
Where did you work? I was a spatial designer, creating virtual apartments, stuff like that. Did some very cool VR gaming gigs, too. Really? Sounds like a total waste of time, to be honest. What? No, I like... I mean, I liked it. How'd you end up here? With Brian and the rest, I mean... Even a blind man could find their hideout. If you could even call it that. Seriously? That's it? <laughs> yeah. I was just walking down the street and saw some light coming from a basement window. Didn't seem like robots, so I investigated. Turns out, I was right. There used to be more of us. Anyone tell you about Mike? No, of course not. Because Alex would flip. He was stubborn, but a good guy. Sound familiar? Anyway, one day he went out for supplies and he never returned. Really? And no one knows what happened to him? Maybe I will ask Alex about it. What about your family? Were they taken too? I never met my parents. I don't know much about them. Just that they were loaded. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Didn't mean to what? You know, upset you. Hey, no sweat. I'm used to it. Well, it doesn't look like they're leaving anytime soon. Can we just sneak past them? Ugh, I'm sick of waiting. Okay, I have an idea. A little risky, I suppose, but I think it'll work. Trust me, see that cop car? I'm gonna make my way inside. You just need to attract the cops' attention from the other direction. You're not serious. What am I supposed to do? Dance the salsa? Keep it down. No, you're not going to put on a show. Just maybe make some noise or throw something at them. Then I'll do a little um, hit and run with their own arrow car. Wait, what? Are you nuts? If you're trying to impress me, this is definitely not the time. It'll work, I promise. They won't even see it coming. The guys and I have done this a hundred times before. Now let's go. Keep quiet and don't let those repair bots spot you. And he's gone. Okay, you've got this. Just stay out of sight and find a way to make some noise. Impressive. 
You weren't kidding about having done this before. What you say you did before? Maybe I'll tell you another day. If we make it that long. We've still got business to take care of. I doubt they had a chance to call reinforcements. But I'm not sticking around to find out. of special offers. Feel free to look around and let me know if you have any questions. It's just a hologram, so it won't call the cops, right? Would you like me to connect you with the police department? No! Okay. Give me a call if you need any help. And don't forget, we have mega discounts on 3D printers this weekend. It's totally oblivious to the chaos outside. Anyway, what are we looking for again? If you need help, well, since you're offering, Amber, where can we find a TSLS accumulator, gun in emitter, and Jameson control unit? Please visit the following departments. Red, green, and purple. That's helpful, thanks. Kind words are all the gratuity I need. Let me know if you need something else. Let's check it out. But can we not call that thing anymore? Creeps me out. for getting a discount at checkout. A coupon! So much stuff. Park has to see this. There, Mr. Coupon. I found you a friend. You selected the TSL S accumulator. Good choice. Unfortunately, the last remaining unit is for the prize machine display only and not for sale. But you're in luck. It's available for free through a limited time offer. All you need is three special coupons. Oh, so that's what they're for. I need three of them. Better start looking. Will this work? Three coupons? Check. Maybe this is my lucky day? An accumulator. Claim your prize, just choose any item. You won't need to pay for it. Wait, what? All this effort just for a stupid prize? Hmm, this thing hasn't seen a maintenance worker in over a year. Not surprising. I guess we have to hack it. Hack it? Is that another of your many talents? Did you used to be a spy or something? Anything's possible, babe. I'll open the case. You watch the screen. Let's try to reset it to factory defaults.
That's great, but it's too soon to celebrate. There's still more to find. Control unit, model... Yes, this is the exact one. So many board games. It's a shame I can't stay. Someone's out of meeples. Wait, that's a different game. and walk on out of here. Don't look at me. Who could predict we need money again? Close. How are we supposed to get past that? This is crazy. The incident, the robots, hell, aliens could invade, and for the cashiers, it'd be business as usual. Damn, didn't think this through. How do we even pay? You got a couple of hundred bucks on you? A credit card? It's been ages since I've even seen money. I forgot my purse. Let's go head to security. Find some way to turn off the alarm system. Okay, we got everything? I think that covers Brian's list. Hard to believe there were still so many ATMs. A lot of people never got past their skepticism of electronic credits. It's a generational thing, I guess. We can't take out cash without a debit card, and banks aren't open again until, well, ever. It's dark 
dark in here. Fortunately, I've got a flashlight. I'm sure this won't end well. They've installed electronic devices everywhere. Microtrips get scanned on entry and exit, calculating work hours. Everything's arranged to reel in customers and dazzle them with new products. No one's supposed to leave without buying something. And of course, the camera silently records it all. They say it's a safety precaution, but that's bullshit. They record your every move so they can use it against you, publicly if they have to. I say to hell with that. Under the constant gaze of dangerous digital babysitters and fear of being replaced by a talking mannequin if you don't hit the sales quota? Well, but still. Better than living on welfare. Won't be long before they've replaced us all and it's too late to cry about it. Don't say Josiah Sanders didn't warn you. A docking station for charging and upgrading robots. No wonder it got left behind. It's beyond repair. Emily, help! Ugh, too close. Look, there's a pass card under the printer. Let's look at what we've got. The staff room. I wonder if anything useful is left inside. Jenny, did you get a load of the new guy from the red department? Bundle of nerves, always dropping stuff. I I'd like to help him out, you know, and give him some advice. But the poor guy, he's like cripplingly shy. Yesterday, I offered to help him move some surplus inventory after closing, but when I asked his name, his face went all scarlet and <laughs> I can't even begin to describe the look he gave me. <laughs> Took the whole red department thing too literally, if you ask me. That's a really old lock. I've never seen one like it. Except maybe in a museum.
Not a lot of finesse, but at least I got it open. Now let's see what's inside. It's a corporate ID tag. Employees use these to buy goods using their corporate discount. I should give it a shot. No one else is using it. A vending machine. Perfect timing, I'm so thirsty. I know, right? Oh man, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> nice. Maddie, my boy, you're in luck. Hey, I found it first, you know. Told you. Life is unfair. Tell me about it. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> Easy there. All right. You see that VR zone over there? That's where we'll settle it. How about the first to win five rounds gets the drink? Are you forgetting something? We didn't come here to play games. Cops could bust right through the door and wouldn't even hear them with those headsets on. Oh no, Em. Now you're starting to sound like Alex. No risk, no reward. When was the last time you had any fun? Five minutes won't kill you, and I'm dying to try the new VR rigs they've got over there.
We have a winner! Hand over that can. Ah, uh, what's fair is fair. Goodbye, my little aluminum friend. We've just met, but now we must go our separate ways. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. There. Now we're good. You... you... Now that's the taste of victory. Sticky and sweet and best enjoyed solo. Fine. Rub my nose in it. For your purchase, Donovan, your 10% employee discount has been applied. Don't forget to close your personal account this week. I hope you can forgive me, Donovan. All right, let's bail. Another damn shuttle. And another group of folks that got caught, I'm guessing. Fewer and fewer people left. Where the hell have you been? I would have gone myself if I had more than one leg. Anyway, did you find all the parts? Here you go. Everything from the list. Hope we didn't miss anything. Okay, that's it for me. I'm gonna get some shut-eye. My brain's done for the day. What are you doing? The internal components are delicate. You break one, you're marching right back out to get another. Okay, okay. Lucky we found all the parts. I'll get started immediately. Alex, can I get a little help, please? Tch, <laughs> see if I have a choice. We need to secure our water supply. Park helped me clear the debris blocking the door, but the boiler's still an issue. Relax, it's not urgent. We still got plenty of bottled water. Let's make the slacker do it when he finally wakes up. Can I give it a shot? And you can give me some hints if I need them. So you're a plumber all of a sudden, huh, girl? I doubt it. Brian and I'll take a look once we're done here, but uh, sure. <laughs> give it a shot if you got nothing better to do. Because when the guys removed the lumber, I was the first in line. This is horrible going so long without hot water. Unfortunately, it's not working. I have no idea how to fix it, and the men aren't doing a darn thing about it. It seems like it'd be easy for them. I know, right? But they always find something more important to do. Not showering might not bother them, but we really could use some fresh water from the well. Then we won't have to keep looking for bottled water all the time. There are no nanites here. Alex checked the samples. But I can't fix them on my own. Park would help, but he's out on a sortie. I'm no expert, but I'm willing to try. Although, the last time I tried my hand at plumbing, I flooded the neighbors below. I'll see what I can do. I could really use a little luxury myself. it's still up and running. My dad 
dad was always wrestling with the plumbing. He'd ask me to get these from the garage. I'm sure I'll find a use for these sooner or later. keeps shutting down. Oh boy, looks like we could get flooded any day now. Need to find a way to patch those holes. Here we go. Better make sure it's all properly secured. And now for the tape. Let's seal it all up nicely. Alright, I patched the pipes, so let's try to equalize the water pressure. Emily, did you get it working? The boiler, I mean, it's fixed? I think so. We should try running the shower. Mother's first, of course. No objections from me. Wow, Emily. I'm very impressed. Well, how about that? Little Emily fixed the boiler all by herself. Just a basic leak, big deal. The baby could have fixed that. <laughs> Maybe even Matt. Stay focused, Brian. Let's wrap this up before we line up for the shower. Claire's going to be in there for at least an hour anyway. Plenty of time to finish up. Okay, the taser is ready. It ended up being more work than we expected and frustrating. But if it works as advertised, it might still be worth making one for everybody. Think of it as a prototype. A trial version. I hope you won't have to use it, but I'm also dying to see if it works. Looks kind of, uh, cheap. It better not fall apart in my hand. How does it work? The taser is effective at a distance of up to one meter, give or take. Theoretically, it'll fry robot circuitry like an egg. People, too, most likely. So you better be careful with it. And remember, Matt, I'm looking at you. It's not a toy. The taser's experimental. Reliability and durability aren't exactly something we've been able to test, so use it sparingly. Emergencies only, you got it? Relax, Gramps. I know my way around a gun. So what now? You got another genius plan? Tell me I'm wrong. I told you already. We need to find others. Survivors like us. We've been hiding out for over a year. We can't just wait for more of us to get captured. So what are you suggesting? That we take this thing out and search for some robot brains to scramble? Of course not. But we need to connect with others. We can't be the only ones left in the city. We've already tried to radio other people, but the signal got traced and we almost got pinched. It's dangerous business, you know. That was using the transmitter from inside the hideout. What about sending the signal from somewhere else? I don't know a lot about this stuff, but there has to be a way to do it undetected by robots. Just people. What do you think, Brian? No. No way. It's too dangerous. We can't risk losing more people. I don't care. Anything's better than starving. Emily's right. 
We can't just keep sitting on our asses waiting for a miracle. Exactly. We live like rats, we'll die like rats. We have to find out what happened and how to fix it. I'd rather go down fighting than living in hiding. And besides, this time we're armed. Little Emily is right. I've got an idea. SNBC, the TV studio where I used to work, get it? Robots don't watch television. So my guess is that the building is probably empty. We could send a signal and set it to loop. So as long as we leave quickly, the cops can't find us. Are you out of your mind? You're actually going to risk crossing half the city. What if something happens? You think you'd be able to outrun them all? Of course not, Alex. I'm an old man. No kids. Sarah's gone for a long time now. What do I have to lose? If we can help the younger folks, it's our duty to try. Right. Brian, we know we can't do this without you. You worked in the studio, you know the layout. We have to go together. That's what I'm talking about. It's high time this old man stretched his legs. There's no way you're going. You thrill seekers and adrenaline junkies, you're gonna get us all killed. Don't you see what it's like out there? How many people do we have to lose for you to wise up? Will you please stop shouting? Alex, I'll... I'm going anyway. Even if I have to go alone. You're not going alone. And that's final. Matt? God damn it. Fine. But only because I like you. Ah, to hell with you. Guess Emily's the new sheriff in town then, huh? When the damn cops scoop everybody up, don't come crying to me. That's it. I'm going to bed. We're all turning in. Rest up and prepare yourselves. We leave at sunrise. So we're here. Are you sure this place is really safe? Well, Brian, think it's safe inside? I can't imagine they'd have much use for this place. True. They communicate through the network, not television. All the same, we should keep an eye out for any stray service bots that might be still inside. Let's go then. Wait! I know. I saw it. I mean, well... Yeah, right. Pipe down, you two. Are you trying to alert all the drones? <laughs> Whoa, that thing's huge. A security guard? What the hell is it guarding? If it spots us, everything goes south. So be careful. First, we need the power back on. It seems like only the emergency lights are functional. We also have to turn on the backup antenna. The primary one looks like it's been to hell and back. We're not here for sightseeing. Robots inside means we can't mess around. Let's split up. I'll deal with the antenna, if you and Emily can get the power back on. Just tell me what I need to do. Wait, what? Are you serious? What if we come across a security guard and we've only got the one taser? I think we should stick together. Okay, okay, all right. Here, just remember, it's only for absolute emergencies. Hopefully it won't explode. What about you? Don't worry, I've been through worse. Just keep an eye on the old man. Now, where do I find that antenna? The elevators don't have any power. The doors are jammed. You should take the stairs up to the third floor. You should be able to find it up there. Instructions for bypassing the primary antenna should be nearby. Probably taped to the wall or something. Hopefully, no one took them. Wait until we restore the power, then turn it on. We'll all meet back at the communication center on the second floor. 
Sounds easy enough. I'll head up. Don't get into any trouble without me. today. All right, little Emily, let's go. So, where are we headed? We need to get to the breakers. That's where we'll find the backup generator controls. It's straight ahead, right through the office. But in its current state, we'll have to find a way past the security guard. Could we try using the taser on it? No. Too risky. There's no way to tell what would happen. Let's save it for an emergency.
hustled like that in years. We're lucky he didn't spot us. Let's go. The breakers are in the far corner. shut the power off on purpose. Well then, we'll just have to fix it. Now what? Some components are missing. The cables have been ripped out. I don't have the right parts with me, but the TV studio should have what we need. Can you search for them? We need three. I'm on it. drawing. Admin here didn't have a whole lot to do. What is this thing? It's the emergency backup generator for power failures. It can power the entire building for about a week or so. It seems to be online, so what are we doing here? Looks like someone turned it on a long while back. Maybe a year. It's working at minimal capacity. Just enough to power the essentials. Probably why it's still got some juice left. Once we bring it up to full power, it will only last a day at best. But we won't need any more than that to transmit anyway. The auxiliary antenna doesn't hog as much energy. This isn't the time to chat. Gotta find those cables first.
Check it out. Will these work? They're going to work just fine. I just wish I knew what order they need to be plugged in. I could really use your help, Emily. Would you mind taking a look at the distribution console there? You'll need to cycle power through the blocks and let me know when the LED turns green. That'll help me figure out the cabling sequence. By the time we're done, all the blocks should be active. <laughs> you and Alex really love outsourcing this kind of work, don't you? I'm on it. Block is active. Block two ready. Block lit. Fourth block done. Yes, all the blocks are on. Splendid. Now, for the final touch. And... up like a Christmas tree now. Okay, we should go. The lights are bound to attract some cops sooner or later. Do you hear that? Sounds like Matthew fixed the antenna. Come on, let's head up to the second floor. One less problem for us. Mind where you step, though. Hey, Matthew. That was fast. Nice job. So the antenna was no trouble, I take it? Easy peasy. Worked like a charm. Great. So now let's go have a look at the comms terminal. Hmm. That's not good. The data disk is missing. The terminal is useless without it. Can we use another? No dice. The disk and the terminal are linked. Technicians eject the disks and take them after their shifts an extra security measure to prevent unauthorized transmissions. Any chance we know what the technician's name was? 
Back when I worked here, comms were run by Larry. Uh, Larry Wilson, I think. Far as I know, he still worked up here until the incident. It's Thompson, not Wilson. I found his personal tablet. It wasn't locked. There's a bunch of unread messages, including one from security. It says here that Larry was having issues getting his locker open. Security replaced the lock and asked him to choose a personal password to replace the default. We're stuck without that data disk. We need to find that locker. Emily, can you look around while Matthew helps me get set up here? Any suggestions on where to look? I don't remember seeing any lockers. Good point. A lot's changed since I worked here. Check the film set first. It's locked, but I'll try to lower the barrier. And be careful. There might still be more robots left inside. Oh, I almost forgot. Grab me a microphone while you're there. Matt, would you mind helping me calibrate the backup antenna? Sure. Spotted. The cops will be all over this place. Those service bots are too busy servicing to even notice me. Works for me. by acknowledging that neural networks have many positive impacts. Their utility being able to analyze fragmented data and process huge amounts of information is certainly valuable, but certain applications have given rise to new problems that threaten to change us in unintended, dare I say, negative ways. For example, when these networks use their complex algorithms to determine what new music you'll like or change the digital wallpaper to suit your mood, I feel that it... How do I put this? Undermines the intentionality of art. The paintings and symphonies of famous artists and composers are not tailor-made to suit everyone. They challenge us, rouse the imagination in unexpected ways, unearth the empathy of humanity. The intentionality of art is under siege. That's what our audience needs to know. I've 
cut the mic. Now to find that data disk.
perfect. Just what I needed. Your data disk has arrived. Sign here, please. Perfect. And now, for the final touch. We've got everything we need. Since you love puzzles so much, Emily, how about giving this old man a hand? The studio's server is dynamically encrypted. The key to unlocking it is on that data disk. I'll send it to this screen. You'll need to enter the precise sequence of symbols until the connection is established. Initiating auto scan. Microphone detected. Camera on. Beginning transmit. Wait. What the hell? Picking up a weak signal. Almost. Just a second. Got it. What the? A robot? What the hell is it doing here? I thought you said they don't watch TV. We gotta go. Weird. It's not a recording. It's being broadcast live. We should really get the hell out of here. Wait. He's saying something. I have to hear this. Allow me to translate. He says that they're coming for us, and we need to hit the road, like now. Just be quiet. Brian, please, just one minute. Turn up the sound. Bad idea, Emily. They'll hear us for sure. Humans, if you can hear me, please respond. I'm here to help you. What the hell, man? Can he see us? Yes. The camera is on, but the mic is offline. You two are completely nuts. Turn that crap no. off. We need to find out what he wants. Maybe it wants to ask you out. This seems risky, Emily. You sure you know what you're doing? In all this time, have you once encountered a robot that offered to help? Instead of calling the cops or just shooting? Can we discuss this uh, later? Ryan. I don't know. After all that's happened, I never thought I'd talk to a robot again. But if you really think he wants to help us, then here, just press this button. Oh, great. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Who are- Fear not. This channel is encrypted. I am TR2-5201. Call me Fletcher. What do you want? Only to help. Please do not be afraid. I am a friend. Yeah, right. Nothing at all suspicious about a helpful Alex robot. Alex says the robots can't lie. They're incapable of it. Alex is full of shit, guys. It's true, though. Their core programming prevents them from lying. Okay, so, hi, uh, Fletcher. What do you mean by helping us? I detect suspicion. Rest assured. We have evacuated 15 humans in the past 67 days. Who's we? Those of us unaffected by the malicious update from the USS. Our numbers are few, and we must remain hidden, just like you. We help humans escape the city and deliver supplies to their isolated sanctuaries. A few repair droids and medical bots are in our ranks as Vera. well. They could help Vera. Our primary objective is to provide a safe haven for all humans. Remaining in the city is too risky. The police always end up finding everyone, eventually. This seems too good to be true. 
Smells like a total setup to me. We need to know more. Is that okay, Fletcher? Of course. Ask away. What can you tell us about the incident? Not enough, unfortunately. We know that humanity did not destroy itself with endless wars. We also know the USS has been kidnapping humans and taking them to an unknown location. The reason why is still unknown. You say we. How many of you are there? Our numbers include eight domestic robots and one police bot. The one who gave us access to law enforcement archives and patrol routes. However, it has been several days since we last heard from him. Staying in the city itself is too dangerous, so we're constructing an outside sanctuary. There are at least four other groups of survivors, but we haven't been able to contact them. update from USS? What did you mean? It was disguised as a basic firmware update, but it corrupted the law enforcement alert system. Now humans are viewed as threats. It overwrites the core mental database with false information about humanity's decline. What? What? As a result, even domestic robots running the corrupted service protocol believe that humankind perished because of endless wars. Even in advanced models, like police units, Base protocol functionality has obviously been altered as well, though we don't even know to what extent. How do you know all this? Weren't you updated too? Nearly all of us who were unaffected by the corrupted update were malfunctioning when it was deployed, including me. The police have been issued orders to find us all. Naturally, working together will improve our probability for survival. Why help us? What do you want? Helping humans is a directive, hard-coded into our base protocol, not a choice. The malicious software from the USS is what's causing the corruption in other robots. That doesn't make any sense. Units with corrupted firmware can no longer see you as humans. Once identified, uncorrupted robots are immediately disintegrated by the police. But that's just evil. To robots, Good and evil are purely subjective terms, though I do understand your meaning. The USS has quickly and efficiently positioned itself to eliminate all who survive or dissent. This is why I propose we work together. I see. You said something about a secure sh Our informant, the F2 police robot, has found the location of an abandoned underground lab in the data archives. It's located quite far from the city, where the USS has no significant presence. F2 wiped the data from the archive once they extracted it. It's ours now. With a little work, the lab will make a perfect hideout. The police won't be able to find it, since there are few patrols outside the city. Actually, sounds promising. Yes. We've already sent a unit to scout ahead and prepare the facility for when people arrive. We'll evacuate the first group of survivors via shuttle first thing tomorrow morning. I will send you the coordinates and departure time. The police never visit the abandoned train depot in the industrial zone. Don't delay if you wish to join us. The city grows more dangerous by the day as the USS destroys encampments one after another. I must now end this conversation. Someone is tracking our signal. You have the location and coordinates. The rest is in your hand. Okay, that's... What do you guys think? He's right about one thing. We should avoid the city. We can't keep running from shelter to shelter. They're bound to find us. A lot of others haven't been so lucky. I don't trust it. It's a freaking robot. But if they do have a medical bot, it could help Vera. Exactly. The meds we found weren't enough. Vera's condition is getting worse, and Olg is really starting to worry. Let's talk it over back at our rat hole. We're wasting time here. Remember what Fletcher said? They traced our communications, so let's go. I agree. This might be our best chance. Not sure how we convince everyone, especially Alex. He's gonna have a fit once he hears about this. To hell with Alex. Let him stay behind. 
We'd be better off without him. Fine. Now run. The cops are on their way. The exit's blocked. Emily, do you still have the key to Larry's aero car? The generator might have given it a charge. Yep, great idea. Let's go. Here. Move faster, old man. And that's why I think we have to risk it. It's a chance. We can't just wait it out here forever. Of course. You've already made up your minds without me. What the hell, Brian? A bucket of bolts snaps his fingers and suddenly you're buddy-buddy? Does anyone ever listen to a damn thing I say? Still going on, eh? Try to keep it down, please. Vera just fell asleep. And Alex, get as mad as you want. But I'm going, if there's even just a small chance there's a medic there. I don't know, but lab or not, we have no choice. Vera's health is what's important. Oh, it is a shame, though. We were just getting comfortable here. You know, I realized something. Fletcher's signal was very unusual, mirrored across several terminals. I've got to say... That's not the USS's style at all. Oh my god. Vera's fever is getting worse. What... what do I do? Hear that, Alex? I'm done arguing. I'm grabbing my stuff. Where's my goddamn backpack? Need help, Emily? There's some room left in my backpack. Still can't believe you bought into this bullshit. Things at the TV studio went sideways, and you barely escaped, and now you're dragging me off to God knows where. We took one hell of a risk, but it was definitely worth it. The city's too dangerous to stay there. And Vera, well, you know. I don't like it here. It isn't safe. And this cold isn't helping Vera. She needs a doctor, obviously. But who knows what will happen when we meet that robot. We've got no way of knowing what's in store, but we have to try. Vera needs a proper doctor, not expired meds. However slim our chances are, it's enough to justify the risk. Yes, you're right. We have to try. Hurry, let's go. You're the captain, Em. Lead on. Tired of bossing people around? Hell of a leader you are, putting a girl in charge. <laughs> you're a damn hero. Careful you don't trip over your own foot. Cut it out, you two. This won't be easy, and we're just getting started. Save your strength. After you. Too bad we have to leave the aero car behind. Oh, I love driving. We wouldn't all fit anyway. Besides, the cops have all the air traffic locked down. We'll be much better off walking. As long as our feet stay dry. Remember to keep an eye on our flanks, goofbags. But not too fast. Got some women, children, and old folks with us.
Not so fast, Captain. There's a crossroads up ahead. Have Matt take a look. Come on, Gramps. I'm pretty sure she knows what she's doing. Check it. Now. All clear. There's an alley up ahead. Sarah and I loved nighttime walks when we were younger. In the winter especially, when everything's a pristine blanket of white. So peaceful and quiet. Don't worry, old friend. Plenty of time for nostalgia once winter is here. We're only a couple of months off now. Emily, are you blind? It's a dead end. I was just taking a look. We don't have time for that. The more we dawdle, the quicker they find us. We have anything to eat? I'm getting hungry. Alex, not now. Next time we stop, I'll heat something up. I've got a protein bar. Want a bite? It's probably been in your pocket for months. No thanks, not that hungry. Whatever you say. Here. The road ahead is ruined. Careful! There's a patrol drone. Don't let it see you. Let's go through the bus. We can take cover inside. Good call. Let's go, people. Careful. One at a time. Em, you stay here and I'll scout up ahead. Aye, aye, Commander. Damn, locked. We can climb. It's not that high. I doubt the older folks in the group would agree. Besides, seems like a great way to get spotted. <laughs> no way. I'll try to get this open. You keep an eye on that drone. On it. I haven't done this in a while. Okay, let's see if I still got it. Damn it to hell. That's no good. Plan B, brute force. Shit, shit, shit. Quiet, what's with you? Damn it. Sliced my hand. Freaking lock won't give. Look around for a tool or something. A crowbar, maybe. I'm useless with this arm. Damn. Okay, I'll have a look. What the hell took you so long? Matt hurt his hand. I need something to cut a lock with. A garage. Let's have a look. I bet we'll find all kinds of stuff in here. I can't see. Need more light. The flashlight's not doing much. Let there be light. Whoa, what's this? This car's got wheels. Looks like someone's restoring it. We should check for tools in the trunk. After we figure out some way of getting it down here, that is. the area park. I'm bringing her down. What a beauty. I mean, it's old, but good design is timeless, I guess.
Let's have a... Empty. Damn it. Of course it's empty. What did you expect? Well, it is where most folks store their tools. Wait, what? Where's the engine? Looks like they removed it. Uh-huh. And replaced it with a spare tire. Is there anything else? Huh. What have we here? It's a plasma lance. Perfect. It's gonna cut through that lock like butter. Perfect. Let's get back. Close up the garage. Why? When this is all over, I'm coming back for that car. Ha! <laughs> Deal! Stick around, beautiful. I'll be back for you soon. Did you find anything? Or should I chew my way through this chain? How's this look? Great. You're the best, Em. That poor lock doesn't stand a chance. Do I have to do everything myself? Fine. That should do the trick. Got it! Get the others! So, can we go now? <sighs> well, we've made good progress. Alex, how's that leg doing? I'm fine. You should worry about you. Here, to the right. Hey, where the hell are you going? You said to the right. Just a second. I want to look around. There's a note here. to be a kid again. The grass was greener, and everything was just so simple. Odor. Smells like a dorm. So, Matt, that business you owned before the incident, what was it? Like, a pharmacy? He's a dope peddler. What else? No, not drugs. Fun stuff, though. That's all I'm gonna say. Wait! I hear something. Let me check it out. Cops! Damn! And they're coming our way! Can we get around them? I've got a better idea. The map shows a manhole nearby. 
We can go under through the sewers. We're getting way too good at hopping from one pile of shit to the next. It's just a storm drain. It can't be too bad. The manhole should be somewhere. Behind that truck. What about the cop? Let me think a second. Some help, Park? All right, listen up, lovebirds. We'll get closer to the manhole. The trucks will give us some cover. I've got an idea. What if we lure it into the alley? I shouldn't leave now. How could I lure that cop in here? Hey, a cat! Here, kitty. You all alone out here? We could drop kick the kitty? Distract the cop with a flying cat? How about I drop kick you instead? Don't you listen to him. Come over here, nice kitty. Wait, where are you? Where'd you go? Oh. Cycle, super fun. Seriously dangerous. Looks like the alarm is armed. A tape recorder. Park would love to mess around with this. Park, have a look. We could use this to, you know, get the party started. Whoa, that could work. I just mixed a new track that can get the entire block jamming. It's about time somebody hears my stuff. We'll need to hide somewhere, though. Hmm. See those boxes? We could hide inside until the coast is clear. Sounds pretty scary, eh? All right, let's do it. My music will save the day, and Alex said it was a waste of time. Ha. Crap, I knew the mid range was too low in this mix. Move it! Run! Controlling the area. Possible human activity detected. Searching the area. 10 4. This is the police. Open up and comply for your own safety. This is our chance. Go, go. Honestly, I expected much worse. I, uh, hope no one here is particularly claustrophobic. What took so long? The cold and damp is no place for a baby. Sewers, huh? Well, that's a new low for me. Can't wait to see where you lead us next. Come on, let's go. This is a pretty hefty wrench. If I hit someone with this, it's gonna hurt. A lot. I'll bring it along and hope I don't need to use it. The door on the right is unlocked. That way? I think so. The map doesn't account for sewers, but that's the right direction anyway. If it turns out we've been walking in circles, we'll have a new leader by morning. Whoa, 
someone passed through here already. I hope it hasn't rusted shut. What the hell? Uh, sorry. I've been wondering about something since the TV station. What kind of robot is Fletcher? I've never seen that model before. The idea that a robot chef saves our bacon is uh, <laughs> pretty amazing. Who knows, might even get a nice meal out of it in the end. Funny. Anybody got something for a headache? My noggin's about to explode. Stop your whining and man up. Whatever. How's the kid? You already know the answer. She's not doing well. Sleeping a lot, barely eating anything. I... I don't know what else to do. Hey, it's okay. Once we get there, we'll get a doctor for Vera, or I'll find one myself, whatever it takes. She's gonna be just fine, okay? Uh, this way, if I got it right. Let me try first. Looks like an aero car made a crater in the pavement. Rain's been eroding the ceiling over time, and, well, it finally collapsed. We have to keep moving. This place isn't safe. How do we cross? The bridge is gone. See that ledge there? I think it's wide enough to get across. Alex can't cross that. Same for Olga and Vera. Right. Forget about that. What do we do? open park. Want to take a stroll? Have a look around? You go. I'd rather mess with the control panel. Maybe I can make it work without the debugging interface. All right. Call me if you have any luck with this thing. The guys have to be useful for something. Huh. Why would someone leave all this here? Looks nice anyway.
What if I try the wrench? Not much risk of anything going up in flames. Now I just need a fire to extinguish. Whoever put this up was a serious geek. Definitely didn't come off a shelf. Totally custom, and I'm betting it wasn't made for gaming. Focus, Emily. Think about the others. for ages, and I just stumbled across his secret sanctuary. Jay, did you get a load of the new guy from the... device. 
Wait, it's the debugging interface we need. Damn it, too far. How can I reach it? to give it one more shot. Yes! Now I can get back to the others. Those blocks floated off. We need to bring them back. Those blocks...
what's on your mind. We could use this to stop those plastic blocks from floating away. Let me try. Hold on tight. Yeah, I think it'll hold. Now we just have to reverse the flow. Looks as sturdy as a suicidal death trap. Maybe Emily's trying to kill us all. Do whatever you want, but I'm not sticking around. If you're with me, I'll see you on the other side. Come on, Matt. Don't blow this. It's okay. A bit shaky, but it'll work. Can't cross it on one leg, though, so Alex stays here. Olga, you and Barra should go next. Better cross now while the bridge still holds. You've got this, Olga. Almost there. Just a couple of steps left. Ryan, you go now. We'll cross after you. All right. Here I go. Sound of that. Count me in. I could kill for a home cooked meal. Yeah, same here. Never thought I'd drool at the thought of potatoes or broccoli. Oh, great. Now all this talk of food is making me hungry. We need to get past these boxes. Think you can move them? My pleasure. Give me a hand, Park. I'll push and you pull. Where to? Into the water. All right. All done. Ladies first. Oh, thank you very much. Everything about this place is cold and gross. <sighs> I wish I could jet out to the islands with my bros. Sun and palm trees, a couple of hotties, looking to have some fun. Good times. You know, I must have asked Alex to take me out to the countryside a hundred times, but he never did. All he wanted to do was stay home with his cables and circuits, tinkering with Brian. Since I was young, I've dreamed of visiting exotic places, experiencing different cultures. <laughs> I spent so many years working that I forgot what it even means to take a vacation. And after all that effort, I guess I should have splurged a little while I had the chance. Park, give me a hand. Let's go. K. 
careful. Okay, I'm lost. Where are we? You tell me. Looks like some kind of warehouse. Ooh, being in the middle of these robots gives me the creeps. You never seen a courier bot before? They're a lot like you. Can't handle more than one thought at a time. No need for hysterics. Yeah, you sure? Look, someone was here before us. I bet the cops took them. Damn place doesn't feel safe. We should leave, soon. Oh, relax. You don't know that. Besides, you wanted to eat something, right? It's a perfectly fine place to camp. I'm with Claire. I'll get the fire started so we can all get warmed up and eat something. Please, little one, дорогая моя, кушай, eat. She's not having it. I don't know what to do. Well, for starters, maybe take your own advice. When's the last time you ate? It's not important. I can't think about that when Vera... It sure feels nice to be in a warm place. Roof over our heads, sharing a hot meal with friends. What more than that does a man need to be happy? <laughs> really. Whatever, old-timer. It's gonna take a lot more than that to make me happy. Considering the state of things, I'm just grateful I'm still breathing. Learn to appreciate the small stuff. Dude. Maybe life before the incident wasn't much different for you. But some of us actually made a very nice living before everything went to shit. We are not the same, man. My life was just fine before. Yeah, sure, pal. Whatever you say. Only thing that'll cheer me up now would be like, room service and a week straight of sleep. We'll take 30 minutes. Then we move out. You're the boss, Sam. Whatever you say. Alex, you should really get some rest. You too, Emily. We need to keep our strength up. You guys rest. I'll take watch. Rain and autumn. It's like the season of gloom. What a sorry way to go. Hey there, Em. Everything okay? Private Park, report your findings. Uh, what? You volunteered to stand watch, so I'm asking you if there's anything to report. Uh, nope. Nothing. It's all clear. A couple of era cars passed by, but no flashing lights. I can take over now. Get a little rest. Nah, I'm fine. So, how you doing? All things considered. If you mean my asthma, I'm fine. 
Got a few spare inhalers left. That's good. I was worried about that. I convinced everyone to go. Now I'm not sure it was the right call. So, what do you think? Are we doing the right thing? I think you made the right decision. I mean, everything you've suggested has worked out so far. <laughs> so when things go bad, I guess the blame's on me? Well, I promise not to think any less of you. We won't get anywhere just sitting around. Gotta go. We'll talk more later. Everything all right, Em? And Alex? Has he said anything about why the robots would be willing to help us all of a sudden? How is that even possible? Might as well be rocket science as far as I'm concerned. Ask Alex. He and Brian talked a lot about that stuff. Yeah, I'll ask him later. He needs his rest. I'm just the housewife. But I would say don't forget to make sure Alex is in a good mood before asking. Why aren't you sleeping? We could all use it. Too many restless thoughts. I'm always on edge. What? What kind of thoughts? Oh, I, I don't know. It's the little things, I guess. Alex says I'm like a jittery helicopter always hovering over everyone. It's just my motherly instincts getting the best of me. I just can't help being concerned for you all. Claire, we're a long way from home. Do you regret leaving? Well, what could I do after you convinced Alex to come? But it hasn't exactly been a walk in the park. Remember, we're not used to going out like the rest of you. With his leg, it's a lot harder on him. And I'm no outdoor type either. Months of sitting on your butt doesn't prepare your feet for this. But I can keep a cozy home, keep people fed. That's my thing. Don't worry. Something tells me you'll get your chance to shine at the new sanctuary. I should let you rest. See you later. We need to talk. Meeting a robot after all this time that wants to help us? I'm still not sure what to think, but what about you? Do you trust Fletcher? I don't see that it matters. We'll do what we must. Personally, I never owned any robots, so I can't say whether I could trust one. Especially when robot tutors hit the market. A disaster for teachers everywhere. I remember all those ads for them everywhere. The perfect homeschooling solution. Order now. Pfft. Ridiculous. I used to have a U-Bot. One of the cat ones. More like a fancy toy. I named it Oliver. Anyway, Oliver really lost it on the day of the incident kept ranting about how humanity had been gone for decades. And that's the problem. They fool us into treating them like people. But they're just doing what they've been programmed to do. That's not real intelligence. Why don't you get some rest? We're all running on fumes. Yeah, it's just my feet, really. All this walking makes them sore. At the shelter, I didn't get out much. Mostly just ate, slept, and looked after Vera, of course. It's funny. I've actually been getting more sleep than before the... well, you know. When I was buried in work, I couldn't have told you whether it was day or night. So, how do you like being out? I mean, it's usually just Park, Matt, and me who do supply runs. You don't have to remind me that we're a burden. I know you all think I'm practically useless. All right, get some rest. Thanks for talking. I guess I'll try and rest a little. They found us! Wake up! Oh my god! No! What do you want? Stay away from me!
Oh, shit. I told you this would happen. Why did I listen to you? Poor Olga. What are we gonna do now? What's up? My head feels like it's gonna explode. Vera, where is she? They took Vera. You happy now? What? No! I'm so sorry. Leave her be, Emily. You've done enough already. I don't understand. I've never seen robots like those. Where'd they come from, and why not just take all of us? Hell if I know. Never seen that kind of bot before. But they clearly have some unique protocols. They just swooped in, grabbed their targets, and left. And without alerting the cops, feels like we're pawns in some twisted game. Don't be so sure, Gramps. We should get out of here. What about Vera? We can't just ignore what happened here. Keep going? After all the shit we just went through? Hey, people are dying. Little Miss Leadership is gonna end up getting the rest of us killed. Emily was just trying to help. Blaming her is pointless. None of us knew what was going to happen. Still, what do we do now? Let's head back to the shelter while we still can. Forget this nonsense. If these punks want to run off and get themselves killed, let them. We're way too old for this shit. Just shut it. You can't split up the group. Not now. Oh yeah, just watch me. I should have done it yesterday. Claire, Brian, and I are going back, and I don't give a damn what you say. Anyone who doesn't have a death wish is welcome to come. The rest of you can just do whatever the hell you want. What about Olga, Alex? We're not going to find Vera by sitting in the shelter. Exactly. We need to meet up with Fletcher. He might know something about those white robots. Enough! I'm sick of hearing about Fletcher. This is insanity. Has been from the start. I can't believe I bought into it. Alex, please. Not now. I'm done here. We're leaving. Come on. Olga? You coming? I'm not going anywhere without my daughter. <laughs> Leave me alone. Olga, I'll do everything I possibly can to bring Vera back. That's a promise. We will find her, but... We have to get going, please. Fletcher can help us, I'm sure of it. All right. Almost there. The depot has to be close. Please let the station ahead be the last stop. It's so dark. Hang in there, Olga. We'll make it. Trust me. Keep going. Salvation is near. I don't believe that. Not that that matters. There's no going back now. Whatever happens, happens. We could access the station using these train cars. Let's get it open. Matt and I can handle this. Uh, have you looked at my arm lately? Uh, right. Emily, give me a hand. Pretty sure we can force this door open. Jeez, looks like someone actually lived here. Gross. I doubt that they had much choice in the matter. This place feels like a crypt. Makes our old place seem not so bad, actually. 
I shouldn't mess with anything. Whoever stuff this is might come back. What did he expect me to say? Hard to get too excited over a subway car. Sure, it keeps the rain out, but not exactly what you'd call special. But there he was, grinning like he brought us to the promised land. The nights are really cold here. Starting fires is too damn risky. Setting off a smoke detector would be game over. We, we won't stay much longer. We're getting out of this city. Somewhere far away. Somewhere where the future is bright. Unlocked, <laughs> for once. Damn! What's up? No luck finding a map. It was the right idea to search the station, but look, the screen's broken. None of the train cars has any power, so the holographics aren't working, which means... I don't know which of these two paths to follow. And you couldn't have mentioned that sooner. This isn't my fault. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, no need to get triggered. Let's have a look around for a map or something. This station is lovely, Art Deco. Don't see a lot of that these days. Nah, it's cool and all, but me and my watch have been through a lot together. Of course it won't work. Not when you need it to. The day of the incident was the worst day of my life. Whoever's toy this is, I just hope they're all right. I should have expected that. Step aside. What would you do without me, huh? Follow the red line. The depot's close. Less than a mile to go. Well then, shall we go this way?
Lead the way. It's what you're good at. Here it is, the home stretch. I just wish the others were with us. Let's stay positive. Everything will be fine. Yeah, I'll have some of what he's drinking. The shuttle. Seems kind of quiet, though. Keep your guard up and your eyes peeled. Verichka. Vera. Maybe they know where my little girl is. Cuba. Cops! Back to the tunnel! You are surrounded. They're everywhere. We're trapped. You cannot escape. But Fletcher you promised us. Please, Please do not resist. resist. Afraid. I mean you no harm. Evidently, Fletcher's plan has failed. The police are everywhere. We must leave at once. What about my friends? We can't just leave them. We can't save anyone without help. Let's leave while we still can. We must hurry. My arrow car is nearby. friends have been taken from me. My journey seemed to have come to a close, and then I met this robot, RT. Fletcher spoke the truth. He meant to help us. Now, it's time to help myself. I've got nothing to lose, so I'm going to find my friends and learn the truth behind the incident. My name is Emily. It means worthy opponent. I will not give up. I won't back down, even though this chapter's finished.